The arrow or hatch is a family of anti-ballistic missiles designed to fulfill an Israeli requirement for a missile defense system that could be more effective against ballistic missiles than the MIM-104 Patriot service to a missile. Jointly funded and produced by Israel and the United States, development of the system began in 1986 and has continued since. It forms the long-range layer of Israel's multi-tire missile defense system, along with Davis Sling at medium to long range and Iron Dome and Iron Beam at short ranges. Currently, the latest upgrade of this air defense system is Arrow 4, which is a further development from Arrow 3. Israel immediately researched this weapon complex even when the previous version was not yet outdated. Arrow 4 is expected to help Israel maintain absolute superiority over regional opponents. The Arrow weapon system, which was one of the first in the world to intercept ballistic missiles, will be upgraded with a significant capability produced by Israel Aerospace Industries in the form of the Arrow 4 interceptor. The interceptor will be the most advanced of its kind in the world and will provide a new layer of defense to the state of Israel and its citizens, said Jacob Galifet, General Manager IAI's MLM division. The MLM division is a principal contractor for the Arrow Weapon System and is a design, development and system engineering organization according to IAI, which is the prime contractor for Aero Force development. Israel's defense ministry and industry developers have begun early work on what could evolve into the Aero Force, a new missile intercepting system to defend against much more sophisticated future threats. In 2017, Boaz Levy, IAI Executive Vice President, said it was probably too early to call the effort Aero 4. Nevertheless, he acknowledged that ongoing design studies are aimed at a future interceptor that will extend capabilities beyond Aero 2 and Aero 3. In early 2021, Israel revealed that the development of the Arrow 4 interceptor was ongoing and that the system was targeting the interception of hypersonic threats such as hypersonic cruise missiles and hypersonic glide vehicles. Efforts to counter hypersonic threats took on new urgency following a November 2022 announcement by Iran that they had tested a hypersonic missile, although its authenticity is disputed. Such a missile launched from Iran could hit Israel in as little as four minutes. Aero 4 is expected to be much more complex than the Aero 3 currently in service with the Israel Defense Forces to ensure it can neutralize own threats from the enemy in the future. According to Mr. Moshe Bitar, director of Israel's missile defense agency, Aero 4 will break all new technologies that opponents are researching to apply to offensive weapons. In addition, he noted that similar to Iron Dome, Israel has convinced the US that the future of the Aero 4 is very bright. According to Israeli media, Aero 4's technical and tactical features will surpass all competitors in the world. Aero 4 is capable of destroying ballistic targets from a distance of 700 kilometers at an altitude of 250 kilometers and moving at a speed of Mark 8 equivalent to 9,800 km per hour. 
compared to the two types of missiles 77N6N and 77N6N1 expected to equip Russia's S-500 that can only shoot down ballistic missiles flying at a speed of Mark 7 at a range of 600 km and a surface ceiling of 200 km. So they are still quite far behind the Arrow 4. The combination of Arrow, Davis Sling and Iron Dome creates a reliable three-layer shield helping the Jewish nation feel secure against any ballistic missile threats coming from its opponents. The outstanding feature of Arrow 4 compared to Arrow 3 is said to lie in its ability to intercept hypersonic weapon warheads with much more reliable movement than today. It is unclear how far the Arrow 4 program has developed, but with Israel's remarkable scientific and technical capabilities, the project will definitely reach its destination on time. In addition to serving Israel's needs, the Arrow 4 missile defense complex is also considered to have very high export potential if Israel and the US agree to share it to allies. <laughs>